everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today, I'll be giving a 100% honest famous slime shop review on Peachy Babies. I purchased about $125 worth of slime including shipping from her shop. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more slime reviews and ASMR. Also a reminder that my slime shop restocks March 27th, Sunday at 2pm PST which is next week. Okay, let's go ahead and get on with the review video. So I purchased 8 slimes and you're wondering how did I purchase that many slimes? This is actually a purchase from Black Friday. I'm sure if I tried now, it would be super difficult getting this many slimes. Her shop is probably the most popular slime shop right now. The package arrived with some activator, a care card, some stickers, a wristband, and a squishy. The slimes that I purchased were Frosty Margarita, Double Berry Cream, Dragon Drink, Blueberry Soda Clouds, Iced Pink Lemonade, a Watermelon Sugar, Sprinkled Ice Cream Cookie Sandwich, and Blueberry Cow. The total price was around $127, but with the Black Friday discount, I only paid $87, which is actually a really great deal. Anyways, let's begin with our first slime. This is called Blueberry Soda Clouds. It is a float slime, so it has a blue clear slime on the bottom and a purple icy on top. There's also a cute sprinkle mix as well. There are clouds and purple and blue crumbles, which match the color and the name of the slime. The colors were super gorgeous i love the blue and purple and i also really liked how the slime didn't mix at all even though i let it sit for more than a month the purple icy on top was on the wetter side but it is super sizzly super soft and very easy to mix in once you mix it up it turns into a jelly icy hybrid it's a very squishy slime and I really enjoyed inflating it. It makes really nice crackles and bubble pops. The ASMR this one gives off when inflated is just amazing. And the scent is super, super sweet. Smells like a really sweet blueberry. This next slime is a DIY clay slime and it is called Sprinkled Ice Cream Cookie Sandwich or Sugar Cookie Ice Cream Sandwich. It comes with 7 ounces of a duo colored cloud cream slime so there is a light creamy yellow and a light tan on the bottom. It arrives with a clay cookie in a separate container that is topped off with some sprinkles and those same sprinkles are also on the bottom of the slime. It does resemble an ice cream cookie sandwich, which is super cute. The sprinkles are adorable and I love seeing the colors mixed. Once fully mixed, it turns into a light brown, super doughy, thick and fluffy cloud dough slime. There is a bit of snow residue, which is pretty normal with any cloud-based or snow-based slime. This one does drizzle as well, but it's more of a crumbly one than a flowy one. The scent for this smells exactly as described like a sugar cookie ice cream. This next slime is another DIY kit and this is called Dragon Drink which is inspired by a Starbucks drink. It comes with a full-size thick 
bright pink clear slime with some dragon fruit female slices and fig seeds and also a small amount of a white glue slime that is the coconut milk. The clear base was unscented but the coconut milk slime was scented just like a fruity sweet coconut. Reminds me of a tropical fruity drink so I think it's pretty accurate. I decided to assemble mine like this so I played with the clear slime a bit so that the female slices and sprinkles would be spread out throughout the slime. Then I added in the white glue base and swirled it and added it into my container and it had this cool avalanche effect. Then I topped it off with the dragon fruit and ice cube charm. Love the overall look. Really reminds me of the Starbucks drink and I really enjoyed mixing it as well. It is super clicky and makes great bubble pops. Very stretchy as well. The final texture is a pink glossy slime and definitely recommend it if you're looking for a slime that makes great bubble pops. Next we have Frosty Margarita and this is a fluffy icy slime that is sizzly and a little bit on the wetter side. I actually purchased two icy slimes so there are two of them in this package and the textures are actually a little different. Not exactly sure if the recipes are different but I believe from my own experience with icy slimes or slime in general that this one's just not as activated as the other one. So if you didn't know yet, icy slimes and cloud slimes don't really melt, but they do like melt in their own way over time. If you let it sit in the heat or just let them sit for a while, they do become looser and softer. And you'll be able to see the difference when I show you the other icy slime. This one is a lot looser and easier to fluff up and drizzle. Doesn't make as much bubble pops, but still a really fun texture. Super drizzly, super soft. I love the green color. Comes with some white clay crumbs, a lemon charm, and another ice charm. The slime is scented just like the name, like a fruity lime margarita. Honestly, Peachy Babies does have one of my favorite icy slime textures. It is on the wetter side, but it's not too wet. It's very soft and easy to play with, and there isn't too much snow fallout. Next up, we have Blueberry Cow, and this is a fluffy cloud slime that is light blue and has purple spots throughout it. Also comes with some glitter, a blueberry charm, some sprinkles, and a cow charm. This one is, of course, sweet blueberry scented, and it does smell similar to the blueberry soda clouds, but it does have less of a syrupy scent and more of a cakey scent, so it kind of reminds me of a sweet blueberry cake. Loved how the colors didn't mix at all even though I let it sit for more than a month and just look at the texture. It looks so so soft, very very fluffy. Honestly, this cloud slime is pretty perfect. Look how easy it is to fluff up and drizzle. There's also not a lot of snow fallout and it just feels really nice on my hands.
It does have a slight wet residue, which is pretty normal with soft, fluffy cloud slimes. If you want one that's drier, they are a lot denser and they tend to have more fallout. So it really depends on your preferences in cloud slimes, but this is how I prefer them. I like them really fluffy, super drizzly, super soft, and slightly wet so that they are not too dry and thick. This next slime is another DIY kit and it is called Iced Pink Lemonade. It comes with a thick yellow clear slime with some lemon sprinkles and a lemon charm. The clear slime was unscented but it also comes with about an ounce of a bright pink slay slime. So a slay slime is a slime with just a tiny bit of clay in it. The slime is scented like a fruity lemonade and I believe the yellow clear slime was unscented and all the scent was in the pink slime. I did assemble this slime the same way I did for Dragon Drink in hopes that the slime will look as gorgeous as that one but it did not since you couldn't really see the pink slime throughout the yellow. Swirling around just made it look more orange and it kind of just looks like a clear orange slime with an opaque orange slime but you can see that thin stripe of pink in it. Anyways, it turned into this glossy yellow orange slime that really reminds me of orange juice. The final texture is pretty similar to dragon drink except that since it has a tiny bit of more clay in it, it gets slightly fluffier and it is more inflatable. Overall, great ASMR for bubble pops and clicks. Next up we have double berry cream and this is a thick and glossy semi foam so it comes with this light purple white glue base that has some berry sprinkles and star sprinkles and on top of it there are some marshmallow beads. I want to point out the scent first since it really caught me off guard. I don't remember what exactly the scent was listed as but I believe it was like a sweet berry but it smells very strongly like a coffee with a bit of sweet berry. I gotta say, not my favorite scent. I don't think coffee and berries mix well, or maybe it's not even a coffee scent, and I'm not even sure, but not my favorite scent, but you know what? Maybe you might like it. It is a very strong scent. Besides that, the texture is pretty great. It's thick, it's glossy, it makes really nice bubble pops, and I love the crunches as well. The slime was filled right to the film line, so not as much as the other slimes, but that's not a huge deal since I do enjoy inflating my slimes.
Lastly, we have the other icy slime that I purchased, and this is called Watermelon Sugar. It is a vibrant red icy slime that comes with some sparkles on top and a realistic watermelon slice charm. The scent for this one is my favorite in this package. Smells just like sweet watermelon. Smells so, so good. This icy slime was as soft and fluffy as the other one, but it seems like it's thicker or denser. And it might have been because it's more activated. As you can see, it doesn't loosen up as much as the other one, and it makes a lot more bubble pops. Out of the two, I actually prefer mine to be like this since I love ASMR. It makes really nice bubble pops. The swirls are gorgeous as well. And when you play with it and stretch it slowly, it does fluff up. It is a bit hard to describe the differences, but I hope you can tell from the video. But this one does have more of a resistance to it, and I feel like it's not as messy. It is more holdable, and it's still very soft and sizzly, and I feel like the recipes are the same or very similar. It doesn't look too fluffy right here, but I am still able to drizzle it if you do slowly stretch it. But the first one is definitely a lot easier to drizzle. Overall, I enjoyed my package of Peachy Baby Slime. I'm really glad that they are super popular now and helping introduce so many new slimers to the creativity of the slime world and the relaxation and ASMR that comes with it. I do recommend grabbing one of her slimes if you're able to, but if you aren't, there are so many other small slimers or slime shops out there, and I have a lot of reviews on them, so make sure to check out all my reviews on my channel. That is all for this review video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!